Time now for the happy, non-confrontational part of the show, The Friend Zone. We invite one of our friends from within the building here at Fox onto the show. Tonight, we're joined by an actual friend, Fox News chief political anchor, Brett Baer, host of Special Report. He's also going to be hosting our coverage of the inauguration from start to finish for like 27 hours in a row. <laughs> it's a, how long are you going to so be on the set? 11 to 5 uh, with Martha McCallum, which is great. Uh, we're going to have fun. Uh, we are positioned well, uh, right on the mall, looking up at the Capitol. And uh, we'll have Can a you little... get up during that time? I've always wondered. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. Aren't you worried that you're going to lose focus? I, I, I could not stay focused for six hours. No, listen, election night prepares you for that long stint. And, um, you know, I mean, I think you have a, a break every now and then, but got the Fox News catheter? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're going to need it. I mean, <laughs> I mean no, it, it's going to be great coverage, though. It's going to be so much... Uh, to, to focus on, let alone the, the magnitude of the moment. Yes. I mean, the fact that we are at this point, I mean, it, from the escalator down in July of 2015 yes. in Trump Tower to the first debate in August in Cleveland and that 26 million people that tuned in, and then along the way that we would ever get to this moment, and now the country has chosen, and the 45th president of the United States is going to put his hand on that Bible and give a speech that um, I think a lot of people are going to be paying attention to. It is a different country from the one it was even a year and a half ago. I hate even to say this out loud, but it's on the minds of everyone of us who lives in the District of Columbia. Are you concerned about disorder at all? Yeah. I mean, I think there will be a significant protest element, and perhaps it's, it's more this time than, than last or recent memory. Um, I think security is prepared. I think they've been doing tests, Secret Service, uh, Homeland Security. Um, there's even National Guardsmen that right. will be on the streets. But it'll be significant, and uh, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what you don't know. They're preparing for a lot of different uh, possibilities, and I think there's going to be some efforts to disrupt not only the, the moment and the speech, but uh, probably the balls afterwards. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be at one of those. Uh, you're anchoring with Martha McCallum. Yeah, who, who had a great inaugural run. Of course run. she did. Who thought you she can't wouldn't. find a person who does, doesn't love Martha McCallum. That's she true. is just the best. Have the, you anchored with her before? I have. In fact, we anchored um, one of the primary nights uh, together, and uh, she's just fantastic. I mean, she's just a real pro and uh, knows a ton every day, you know, alongside Bill and now with 100 Days, which is really a great show. I mean, I watched the inaugural I run tonight. I sat in my office. So what do you do to prepare for six hours live on TV? Well, you look at a lot of, uh, you know, we have the brain room here that produces yep. uh, this huge binder of information that um, that is very helpful as far as stats and figures and, and uh, info, but you really think, I think, about big moments in history. And I'm going to be looking really at that speech. Uh, we're hearing that the president-elect has uh, a very active role in yeah. the forming of this speech and maybe even writing uh, a big portion of it. We'll see how that develops. Hope to hear more about what's going to be in there. But the message is going to be one, I think, of unity. Um, in the midst of all of this Twitter back and forth and everything we're hearing about who's not showing up, I think there will be a coming together message uh, that he's going to try so you, to get through. You just wrote a book on Eisenhower. It just came out. You're doing a reading this weekend in Washington, um, I think. Did Eisenhower write his own stuff? He did. He was an amazing writer and editor. Um, you know, he was often criticized in the press for being kind of halting in his answers at yeah. news conferences. He, he was, by the way, the first president to put a news conference live on air. He's the first one that put transcripts from news conferences into the record. Before that, reporters could ask questions, but they could never quote a president directly. But he did write speeches, and he worked on that final farewell address yeah. for almost two years. Wow. 21 drafts. It was worth it because people still quote it. They do. To this day. Brett Baer. On the set... Drinking no liquids all yes. morning. Yes. As, exactly. as you cover the inauguration. We'll see you Friday. Thank you, Brad. I like this friend zone. It's nice, man. Very no nice. hard questions. This is the easy part of the quiz. <laughs> Thank you, Great sir. Great to see you.